guys, Hong Ying in here for OG Fitness, and today we're gonna talk about Connor versus Khabib, UFC 229, post-fight analysis, and we're gonna analyze a little bit the brawl too. Um, so before I get started, please take the time to like and subscribe to my channel. It would help me out a lot. I pump out up five to ten videos a week and uh, talk about all kinds of stuff for fitness and martial arts. Um, and I believe they both they go hand in hand and it's a smart sustainable and functional approach to fitness and martial arts for older dudes so let's dive right into it okay so Khabib won okay that's the um, that was the result of last night's fight and I actually made a prediction video uh, why Khabib I thought Khabib was going to win so but I also made another video talking about why Conor might be able to win, right? Because we all know that, you know, he, uh, he has a chance of winning because Conor's very good. But anyways, I was right and um, I'm happy about that. But not because I wanted Khabib to win. I really like both guys. So whoever won, the bet, made the best fighter win. That's the way I really saw it, okay? But uh, I'm, I'm kind of happy that my... Um, my analysis uh, of how the fight would go down. I'm happy that I was right regarding that. So anyways, let's jump right into it. So um, let's recap, it's only four rounds. I'll, I'll, like, like always, I'll make shit short and sweet. So round one, Khabib takes down Connor, and that's pretty much the end of the round um, in the sense that like he takes him down and he just beats him up a little bit and boom, done, okay? But I gotta give this to Connor though, his wrestling, it's pretty good um, and why would I say that is because if you watch closely the first round okay Khabib shoots in for his uh, for Connor's um, uh, right leg okay and Connor actually or was it his left leg anyways he shoots for the leg that was in front and like Connor saw that coming and fucking gave him a knee while he was coming in and that sh like it didn't knock Khabib out but it could have though that could have been uh, that could have been finished right there, you know? Uh, but it kind of just cracked him, right? Like on, on the head, head, shoulder kind of, and it pushed him towards his back leg. But then Khabib, with the amount of experience he has, he just grabbed onto that back leg and fucking never let go. But Connor was doing all kinds of shit to like get out of it. And he was, he was doing some really good stuff. Um, his wrestling, you could tell that it was, uh, he worked on it a lot. Give me one second here with the camera, yeah. There you go. I just refocused that for you guys. So he did. He did a, some really good stuff in terms of wrestling, Connor, like to defend um, and to get out of that uh, that position, right? But the problem was, well, Khabib's wrestling is just uh, too much. It was just too good, and then he ended up taking him down, and that was pretty much uh, how the the rest of the round um, continued. You know, uh, Khabib on top and beating down on Connor a little bit. That's fine. Okay, second round comes along. Boom, takedown. But now this time, like uh, Khabib's, oh, actually Khabib actually fucking cracked him in the face and knocked Connor back with a punch. Okay, and uh, so that was pretty, that was really surprising uh, to, to everybody. Okay, but you know, I mean, what's his name? Um, Khabib, he's super explosive. And when you have to worry about takedowns, you know, sometimes like you forget about the hands and like he is really explosive, even though he seems kind of awkward and stuff like that. And I think he is kind of awkward with his boxing, but I mean, he could explode into shit, you know? Um, so he exploded into that punch, knocked, knocked down Connor. And of course, Connor got right back up and boom, boom, there was an exchange. Then uh, Khabib takes his ass down and beats the living shit out of him. Okay, but uh, he went. He he. I think Khabib spent so much energy uh, mauling uh, Khabib, uh, mauling Connor in the in the second round. That that was pretty much how the fight ended. Okay, and then third round, he didn't do much. He third round Connor won that because um, Khabib didn't do much. You know, uh, there was some exchanges, and I think Connor standing up got. Uh, got the better of him in the exchange but I mean it wasn't like a, a big uh, it was probably a 10-9 you know not a 10-8 so but I think people were saying um, oh yeah Khabib was slowing down he's getting tired and then you know they were back and forth uh, regarding that but he wasn't getting tired like the way I, well, he was a little bit uh, tired he was just taking it easy and I think he was just um, recuperating 
he wasn't tired, but he was like, okay, he needs to recuperate because he just spent a lot of energy trying to, uh, um, to, to, to punch in Connor's face. Uh, essentially. So what he did was he boxed with him. He, he, he went for a couple of takedowns, but they weren't like fully committed takedowns. Got him up against the cage, blah, 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 blah. So it kind of looked like Connor was able to stuff his takedowns a little bit there, but no, not really. So anyways, the, the round ends and there you go. So Connor gets that round. So now we get to the fourth round and well, Khabib just takes him down and ends up um, taking his back at one point and then chokes him out. But it's, uh, it's not really a, a neck choke, like it was more a neck crank and he had his form like right here on, uh, on the side of his jaw. And I think his jaw was getting crushed and his neck was getting cranked at the same time. Boom! Khabib wins, right? Uh, now, it, what's, what's funny is that um, Herb Dean had to, beat, had to like separate, to, had to pull off, what's his name, uh, Khabib. Off, uh, off Connor because I don't think Khabib was gonna let go. He was gonna keep talking shit and just like, you know, he, he looked like he still wanted to bash his head in. So anyways, uh, uh, the ref, Herb Dean, like, you know, separates them, right? So then you see Khabib there standing over Connor and still fucking screaming at, him, screaming at him and shit. Okay, so this is where it gets fun, okay? So it doesn't end there. Now we get into the brawl part. So what happens is that uh, Khabib starts, um, takes out his mouthpiece, throws it, uh, you know, like uh, against the cage towards uh, one of um, one of Connor's teammates, which uh, turns out to be Dylan Danis, his uh, BJJ uh, coach, right? And then you see him like, you know, talk, like screaming at him through the cage, and then fucking uh, Khabib just jumps over the cage, and <laughs> jumps over the cage, out of the cage, and then right into the crowd with a fucking, like he was aiming for, for the Dylan Danis and he was, he was jumped right in the crowd and fucking just jump kicks uh, <laughs> right onto Dylan Danis and then boom, boom, big brawl. But what you don't see though, and you have to, I'll put a link below to a video that I found, uh, somebody filmed it at a different angle. So what you don't see though, um, when you watch the fight is that Connor seeing, like gets up after seeing that Khabib jumped out of the cage he jumps out of the cage too, but while he's on top, okay, somebody holds him back, one of the, um, uh, the commission guys or the refs, you know, or whatever. And then while he's stuck on top of the, uh, of the, of the octagon, right, there, uh, just like a fraction of a second after he does that, there's Khabib's uh, teammate that jumps onto, uh, tries to jump over too, jump out of the, uh, the octagon. So... He tries to jump over practically at the same time, right after uh, Connor, and they're both like on top of the cage there. So Connor fucking swings at him, and then the, and then and then that's what happens. So Connor swings at the dude, then the dude starts swinging back at Connor, and then they they both like go get back into the cage, and they're going after it. So then that's when like everybody started uh, uh, jumping in who was already inside the octagon. They were splitting them up, but then two of Khabib's friends jump in to back up their guy who was you know like. Uh, Get it going at it with Connor, and then one of them punched him on the side of the face. Connor punched him back, but then another guy, uh, one of Khabib's teammates, was behind and then started hitting him, and then boom, 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 and yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was fucking crazy. So um, I found that entertaining as fuck, and uh, yeah, of course you could you know you could say that like Khabib. Uh, it was, this, you know, a lot of people on, on YouTube and, and, um, and a lot of fighters and, you know, everybody who, everybody has a, an opinion on this and they say that, oh, he ruined the sport, it's bad for the sport, blah, 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 blah. But then when you look at all the trash talking that Connor's done since uh, he started, I mean, you know, you guys were kind of asking for it, you know, letting the, like Connor go on and on and, and having his way uh, with the, the shit talking and stuff like that. He just happened to um, shit talk to the wrong person in, in a sense, okay? And let me explain this because you got to remember that um, th all of this uh, became kind of personal, right? At one point, Connor, what he... Um, he flew over from, from Ireland uh, right after he heard that Connor slapped his friend. And if you watch the video, it wasn't really a slap. It was just kind of like a love tap. Like, hey, man, stop talking shit. Like, just in the back of the head like that, you know? Anyways, so Connor flies over and, you know, Khabib supposedly was told 
uh, that he can only go into the bus alone with his manager or something like that, where usually he has like 15 dudes, well, 15 of his crew members with him, you know, his teammates, they all train and they always travel together and stuff. So it was kind of a setup in that sense. Connor comes, he's with 30 guys, they have a camera. They, he, Connor throws a, a dolly, okay, um, at the bus and the window breaks and then there's some people that, there's some UFC fighters that get uh, like scratched up and shit because of all the glass, right? Um, so, okay, you see that happening, that's one thing, right? So it was kind of like, uh, in my, in, I think it was a publicity stunt, okay, uh, that was set up. And then after that, well, at the press conference, uh, the first one, okay, you know, Connor, Connor knew, I think, that to get into Khabib's head, he had to, uh, he had to get personal. Because Khabib is very stoic, so you're not going to get into his head by just like, uh, you know, oh, you suck, I'll knock you out, yeah, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, he's, you know, very stone cold and stuff like that. So Connor. In my opinion, the only way he thought that he would be able to, to, to fuck with Khabib's mind is uh, really get personal about it. So he started talking about all kinds of crazy shit. Um, and I think it did piss off Khabib. It did get to his head. But Khabib, like, uh, he took it really personal, okay? But during the fight, he was able to contain his emotions and fight the way he was supposed to fight to win the fight. After that, well, what you saw was him... Uh, being reacting to everything that Connor said, right, and uh, and everything that that led to 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 this fight, you know, the whole bus thing and blah 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 blah, and all the trash talking. So now I I feel that Connor after the fight, if this wouldn't have happened, right, uh, I mean, meaning Khabib wouldn't have just jumped over and then you know created all that craziness and and the brawl and everything. I think that. Um, like uh, win or lose, Connor would have been um, how do you say it? Uh, graceful in in victory or defeat. Like he would have lost. Like if Khabib would have just you know okay picked him up after you know it's over. I whooped your ass. I I'm sure Connor would have you know like gave him a hug, congratulated him, and blah 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 blah. And you know that's it because Connor really, in my opinion. Yeah, like he he trash talked the way he did. It was just to play mind games so it could have a uh, a advantage, a psychological advantage. He wanted um, Khabib to come in really piss and make mistakes so he could knock him out. But I don't think Connor really hates the fucking dude to that point. Like probably somewhat, but it, it would have been squashed after the fight. But um, what he didn't realize is that well. Um, <laughs> Khabib doesn't fuck around, and and because you because Connor touched on on um, you know race, religion, uh, you know talked about his family and shit like that, so that's why Khabib was like fuck not having it at all, you know. And um, Khabib took it super super personally, and I don't blame him, right? And he lost control there uh, after the fight, and he just fucking you know. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, he's he's still the champ. He won, and um, I real I really don't see this as a big deal. He didn't, you know. Okay, so he got a little bit excited. Nobody really got hurt. I mean, more people got hurt in the um, uh, in the bus incident where Khabib, um, Connor threw the dolly at the bus, and then there was glass that you know went into uh, other fighters' faces and stuff like that. So what did he do? He jumped out. Uh, he jumped. So what did he really do, Khabib? He jumped out of the octagon. He jumped, kicked. He tried to jump kick uh, Dylan Danis, and then as soon as they landed, it was little. They were just tugging at each other. Pe like a billion people separated them. Nothing happened there. And of course, Connor like uh, threw a shot like at one of his friends when they were on top of the cage, and that's how that kind of played out. And. Um, Hey man, it's uh, it's it's show business, you know. <laughs> so it's no big deal. I think that uh, Khabib is 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 the champ, and um, I was right. There's levels to this game uh, in terms of grappling and stuff like that. And Khabib is such a high level uh, wrestler that you know it's very hard uh, to prepare for this type of guy. And um, I mean, especially if you don't have a big uh, wrestling background. To, to be able to contend and to to um, to fight with him on, on, on that. You have to be, be at least cancel out the wrestling, but that's so hard to do. 
and um, Khabib didn't play into Connor's game, so he didn't get emotional and just run into a punch, kind of like what happened with uh, Jose Aldo. And uh, that's uh, that's it, man. So listen, um, hey, congratulations, Khabib. I predicted this, so I'm happy my prediction was right. Um, and yeah, it's kind of when when when, they, when people say it's bad for the sport, I don't really think so. I think it just makes it more fun and interesting. And I mean, uh, you know whatever it's entertaining okay so i don't see any big deal and you know hey it's not like if there was any knives or guns that, that was you know being used or anything like that no no innocent uh, women and children and old people got killed no animals were hurt you know what did they do they threw a couple of punches they brawled well you know welcome to the fight game right like fighting is fighting man so um to me, it's not a big deal. People people make uh, too much of it. Oh, it's a disgrace to the sport. Blah 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 blah. No, it's not. Fuck you know. What's what's if you if you if you really want to to talk about disgrace and stuff like that? Well, I think it's more disgraceful to um, put in the media on TV what Connor was saying uh, about Khabib and stuff like that. Uh, you know, talking about politics, talking about his dad, he's talking about his religion, and, and, and that I think is more um, disgraceful than what Khabib did, which is basically he just went and wanted to beat the shit out of Dylan Danis, and then, uh, you know, Connor got a couple of, got into it with his, te his, his teammates, and really no big deal. I mean, seriously, it's it, people who, who make too much of this, I mean, they're. Yeah, I understand they're concerned with the image and they're trying to promote the sport, make it look clean and shit like that. But um, I mean, yes, maybe he shouldn't have done it, but hey, he did it, and it wasn't as bad as uh, what uh, what Connor did when he threw the dolly and all the all the fucked up, all the fucked up trash talking that he did. So uh, hey, Khabib won, and uh, maybe we'll see a rematch, maybe not. But uh, I heard rumors of him uh, maybe wanting to. Um, uh, retire or uh, fight GSP so that I would actually go out and see again so that's it for this video so guys uh, like comment subscribe uh, any questions you know anything you guys want to talk about or whatever um, hey just put it down below and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video thanks peace